you to be patient, and I told you to be fine, and I told you to be balanced, and I told you to be kind, and in the morning I Um, so today I'm going to be filming a video, a uh, Valentine's Day video, because Valentine's Day is coming up and it is now February, if we weren't aware of the timing. But yeah, so this month is February and this month Valentine's Day is- why is it so dark outside? What? What is happening? It was like super bright. It's probably going to get really bright again. I don't know what's happening right now but anyways so I'm filming this Valentine's Day makeup tutorial I haven't done something with color and so I did this and it has like pinky and purple tones also like with brown so it is kind of neutral but it does have color to it so if you wanted to add a little bit of color to your makeup this would be the perfect way to do it because honestly I don't like to wear color I don't know it's just weird and so I'm experimenting and I'm trying something new and so I decided to add in some pinks in there today and I really love the way it turned out I um I did this makeup like the other day and I really loved the way it looked and it was like in the afternoon so I didn't film it I don't know I should have filmed it I really love the way it turned out and so I wanted to film a makeup tutorial on it and that's what I am doing today so if you're interested in getting this makeup look then just keep on watching and let's hop right into the video so first and as always I'm priming the eyes and I'm using my think me later eye primer and it is like the love of my life this is perfect and it makes my eyeshadow last all day long and it's it does increase I love it love of my life and I'm going to be setting that with my stay matte powder by Rimmel just to make sure it's all locked in for the rest of the day and I'm taking my naturally pretty palette by a cosmetics and I'm using the bone color to make the eyeshadows pop a bit more and I just really love this shade whenever I start off my makeup and I'm taking my NYX love and Paris palette and I'm gonna be taking this orangey tanny like pretty color and I'm applying that to the crease and you're gonna want to just build up that color because this is kind of our transition color but this color from the little black beauty book that burnt orange color is basically more of the transition color so you're gonna want to apply that to the outer corner and working it into the crease make sure to make it nice and vivid make sure like it's bright and because this is like what's helping us give color you know what I mean so yeah, you're going to want to blend that out as much as you can. And I'm going to be taking this pretty like purpley color and then this dark brown color. And I'm mixing the two. I'm going to apply that to the outer corner and make sure to blow it out. So I'm applying it and then like making sure it's nice and blended because you don't want it to be just one ugly color. And I'm blending it out a bit more with a fluffy brush. And I'm going into this little um, palette that I got in my... Uh, uh, Ipsy glam bag and I'm gonna apply that to the uh, basically like the outer portions of the Eyeshadow and making sure to blow it out and I'm taking my max studios all about eyes palette and I'm taking that really pretty pink color and I'm applying eye drops because this helps give the eyeshadow a lot more color and it makes it just a lot more brighter and more pretty and so I'm applying that to the center of my eyelids and going back into the eyeshadow palette and taking the brown to balance it out because I thought the pink was a little bit too harsh and I just wanted to balance it out and I didn't want it I didn't want it to be too dramatic and I'm blowing it out and I'm blending it in with um, a fluffy brush and I'm going with my NYX liquid liner and I'm lining my eyes off camera and I'm also doing like the rest of my face makeup off camera but these are the products that I use on my face, CoverGirl, Nivea Man. And for bronzer, I actually wanted to show you guys this. I'm taking this brown color, and I learned this technique from Miss Fame. So what she he does is he starts from the outer corner and just lets the brush like slide off because that's where your contour should end, and that's where it naturally ends. 
and I learned this from him and it's awesome I love it I've been doing it a lot recently you just have to be very careful while you're doing this because you can add too much like I added a little too much that day but I really love the way it turned out and then I'm going to go ahead and um, conceal the under eyes and everything you know looking crazy and I'm setting it with my stay matte powder and I'm baking and this is my bake face it's so cute right I know right uh, and then while I'm baking I like to apply mascara and once I'm done with mascara I like to wipe off the powder because you don't want it there for the rest of the day it's not cute and I'm going back into the eyeshadow palette from City Colors and apply that brownie orangey color and I'm applying it to the lower lash line and making sure to blow it out so it looks like nice and pretty you know what I'm saying and then I'm going into um, my favorite Maybelline palette. I'm taking that white, white color and applying it to the inner corners. And I'm taking my Jelly Pong Pong um, eyeliner. And it's just this really pretty bronzy color. And I'm applying it. And I'm tight lining with it, actually. And now for lips, I'm using this red color. Um, it doesn't go with the lipstick, but I've noticed that it helps it look more browny. That's what I've been into, like charcoaly brown lips. And so I'm using my NYX liquid suede lipstick you know my favorite I will have that all of my lip products listed down below and I'm going back to an old favorite of mine so Tree Sienna by CoverGirl I'm applying that all over the lips and also my NYX I forgot the name of this one but I'm also applying that just to the center of the lips to add a little bit more light and I'm also using my naked palette to highlight my face and I obviously applied the eye drops because it just makes the highlight so much more bright and I love the way my highlight looks whenever I do this and, you know highlighting in the regular places and I'm setting all of my makeup with my NYX matte finishing spray and apply that everywhere and you're done you look good you ready for Valentine's Day you ready for your boyfriend you ready for yourself it's okay if you don't have a Valentine I don't you look cute and that's all that matters So that is the end of this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already, you should subscribe to my channel and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup and if you're not doing anything on Valentine's Day, it's okay, I'm not doing anything either, I don't even have a Valentine, if you want to, I will be your Valentine if you don't have one, but if you do, let him treat you right and buy you chocolates. But yeah, so um, um, yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you all in my next video. And yeah, I think that's it for today. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. I love you.